Hi fairies, welcome back to my channel, it's Eurasia Andrea. So I'm going to be doing a color melt on my Eurasian Blonde from Fairy Stylish. You guys know I am rebranding my brand right now, so I'm just showing you guys kind of a comparison of another blonde bundle. I have no idea where this brand is from, I just found it in my wig box, but I'm just showing you guys the difference between how my Eurasian Blonde is compared to an AliExpress company. You can definitely tell the difference from the density my hair like I tell you guys every single time I do a video on my blonde hair it is extremely dense it is extremely full and it is full from root to ends so in this video it's going to be a color tutorial but instead of just doing a recreation of one wig my soy gas decided to do a tutorial on two wigs put together. Now, I'm not gonna lie you guys, I was very nervous to really wear this wig because when I first dyed it, I was like, okay, this is very nice, it's very cute, but I don't know. I don't know about being able to pull this off because you know I am a little bit more on a darker skin tone. But honestly you guys, I feel like that's why you guys love watching me so much is because I am more of a darker complexion. I am a chocolate type of girl and I do the same type of wig colors that a lot of lighter complexions, you know, Caucasians and all that stuff does because Number one, I do it to kind of complement our skin tone a little bit better. And number two, just the confidence overall, just to show you guys that we can still do it too, okay? So the first color that I'm starting with is going to be Funky Yellow from Kiss Colors. I have been trying to use a lot of their newer line of colors. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, a few weeks ago, they did send me their entire collection of all of their older, temptation colors as well as their newer colors so i've just been experimenting you know trying different things trying new color techniques and new color combos just to see what i can really come up with just to get those creative juices flowing like i said i did go ahead and use funky yellow on the right side of the wig and then on the left side i decided to use their newer color in neon green now i know their lime light i believe that's what it's called it's like a really 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 bright neon green i know never really use that color to just have the color on its own. I felt like that type of color for my skin tone was just a little bit too much for me. So I was really excited when it came out with this shade of a neon green because it was a little bit darker, it's not so bright, and I felt like it would complement my skin tone a lot better than what their older lime green looked like. So I'm just going ahead and putting that on the left side. You guys, honestly, if you guys did not even notice, this is definitely giving me like Sprite vibes, like lemon and lime, like fruity type of vibes. But like I said, I was really, I don't know, I was just trying to try something different and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna hope for the best. Y'all already know I never, ever, ever, ever have any idea how I'm gonna be doing these blonde wigs when I get them in front of me. I literally just look at the wig, I look at some colors, I pick up a few colors and I'm like, you know what? This is what we're about to do. We're doing all these colors, make it the hell work. <laughs> And that's exactly what I did. So I'm not really gonna talk through this part. Um, I went ahead in the video and put in the colors that I did use. Um, it isn't really like a tutorial because I really always freestyle every single color wig that I have on my channel. So because this is a freestyle, I'm not really gonna do it like, you know, tutorial wise. But in the video, I do go ahead and put the exact colors that I use every single time I go into one section. So just enjoy some music enjoy my therapeutic type of blending of my colors because you guys love to watch that and I will be back when we are rinsing out the wig
So we are now moving on to rinsing out the wig. You guys know I always, always, always let my wig sit for a minimum of six hours, depending on how long the wig is and also depending on how many colors I use. Actually for this wig, if I'm not mistaken, I did let it sit for about eight to 10 hours instead of my four to six that I usually do. Um, because I just really, really, really wanted a lot of these colors to really penetrate in the hair and I feel like it did just that. So I went ahead and rinsed out the hair. So you guys already know, I only use cold water, only, only, only use cold water on your colored wigs because it will just make the color more vibrant and just last a lot longer instead of rinsing out in the sink and you just wash your entire creation, just wash away. So I went ahead and let that wig sit overnight and I'm coming back with the wig about 85 to 90% dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blow dry the hair on camera. I do do a couple of moments where I'm just really excited. I'm very happy um, because like I said, I'm finally getting back to doing my creative colorful wigs. Those really do take a lot of creativity in my mind. I have to be in the right space at that time because if I'm not, I can't get my creative juices flowing, but I felt like I really, really, really did so in this video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blow dry and then I will come back when we are doing the lace and when we are curling the wig. So blow drying is done and now I'm going to move on to doing the hot comb of this lace. So this is, I, okay, I know I said in my last video that I was going to be doing, um, my next color wig was going to be with my newer lace. This actually is still my older lace. It is a light lace. I don't know why, but I swore this was a transparent lace because it was just that light. And I went ahead and put some tint on this lace. And you guys will see when I actually style this wig on camera, the lace was just a little bit too dark because um, you know, when you put a tint onto a lighter lace, it will make the lace a lot darker than if you were to put a tint on a transparent lace. So just a forewarning, so you guys don't make the same mistake that I did in this video. If you guys have like a tinted lace already, I would really recommend for you guys not to put a lace tint on it and just probably just use a little bit of makeup because it won't be as harsh when you guys try to blend in the lace with your skin tone and your skin scalp when you put the wig on. So I just went ahead and layered the wig. I did give it a few layers because I knew I wanted to curl it. You guys are liking that I am starting to curl my wigs on camera now instead of just doing a typical straight wig. Some styles and some colors I feel like it's better when the wig is straight and then some colors I feel like does it real justice when I curl it and this was that real justice curl your damn wig type of um, color combo. So I just went ahead and used my curling wand. I did showcase this in my last coloring video, which I hope you guys already checked out and then came over to this one. And then I will also link the curling wand that I use um, down below in the description, as well as all the colors that I use to create this wig. So I'm just gonna go ahead and forward this part because you guys, you know, curling wand and curling your hair is pretty much the same. We've been doing it for years and I will come back when I am putting the wig on.
Okay, so I already forewarned you guys. Um, I wasn't going to put this wig up, but I know you guys have been coming down my neck when I feel as though my videos aren't, you know, to what I really want them to be. And you guys are like, put the damn video up. We don't care. We support you anyway. So I was like, okay, I'm just still going to put the video up, but I just wanted to forewarn you that it's not the best install with this lace it wasn't bad you clearly couldn't really see it in person so it wasn't really that bad i even asked my boyfriend and um my photographer friends um how they felt with how the lace looked in person and you really couldn't even tell in person and it was sunny this day when i took my pictures i didn't drop my pictures yet on my instagram but you guys will see them next week they came out so fire you guys but anyways so this is the part where i felt like the lace wasn't really blending in with my hairline and then i noticed just like the mistake that i had in my last coloring video was the same one in this one you can't have too much lace showing with these colored wigs it's not the same as black hair we can't have too much lace showing because it obviously is bright ass hair on my dark complexion so the less lace that you really have on your forehead the more quote unquote natural it will look when you try to put your lace down so not only was it like a slight tint too dark for my forehead but when I cut a little bit more of the lace off I felt like it blended in a whole lot better so I just went ahead and just finished off the rest of the lace cutting. You guys have seen me use this so many times. You've just seen me just do this technique so many times. I did go ahead and use the Got To Be High Insta Hold Spray to lay the lace down. And I will come back when we are pretty much done. So last thing, um, the last step I did, you guys see it's not really bad. You guys know I'm a perfectionist though. I am an absolute Aquarian perfectionist. We are perfectionists, okay? When we feel like something is not our best, we overthink it, we don't wanna post it, we don't wanna put it out, but I'm trying to just not be like that anymore. <laughs> so I just went ahead and just took my elastic band and I was like, okay, maybe it just needs to melt in my forehead a 
little bit better maybe i'm just overthinking it because this was a point i was like you know what i'm not about to put this video up this is coming out trash but then i was like okay it's not bad i can work with this like we can keep it going and yeah so so i did do this technique and show you guys how i like to curl my hair in my last um revamp rainbow wig video these curls are so bomb they last me still to this day i still have this wig on and my curls are still in my head even after i wrap my hair and everything so i really recommend for you guys to use a curling wand it doesn't have to be the one that i have in a link down below even though i definitely recommend that one it can honestly be any curling wand you guys just curl your hair with the curling wand because the curls last forever and then the last step that i'm going to be doing is just taking my curling brush i got this from sally beauty i linked it uh no maybe it, i didn't link it in the last video but i will link it in this video um because it is the best when curling your hair it makes it more of like a fair faucet type of curl it makes your curls just look so effortless and so feathered like the hair just looks so soft so I just go ahead and just curl it away from the face. It just makes all the curls a lot more uniform and just makes it a lot more voluptuous, voluminous um, on the wig. So that is pretty much the end of the tutorial, you guys. I hope you guys really liked it. I know this wig is so loud. It is loud, it is bright, it is vivid, but I felt like I pulled it together and it came out amazing, you guys. So I literally took two wigs that I loved, that you guys loved, my multicolored yellow and my multicolored green, and I just literally did them half and half because you guys know I am infamous for the half and half colored wigs. And then I also did a few highlights and specs from each favorite wig that you guys love and put it all together. So please let me know how you guys like this video. I loved it. I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. And bye guys.